Hi, this is Teo from PuckerBlocks.com. Today I'm going to show you some Copic Multiliners. These are the technical pens that I use because they can be found easily here in Singapore. This review is going to cover the disposable multiliners as well as the refillable SP uh, version. So let's take a look at how good they are. These are the Copic Multiliners. For some other brands, they may be known as fine liners or technical pens, but they actually refer to the same thing. Basically, pens that give you a line weight that is uniform and doesn't vary. On the left side, we have the disposable pens. This particular line from Copic is called the multi-liner. So the disposable pens, they come in plastic bodies. And the refillable ones, they are called multi-liner SP. They come in metallic body. I feel that the metallic ones are a bit more classy. So you can buy the pens separately or you can buy them in sets and you can buy them in different um, weights. The pens that I have here today are 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, 1.0 and this is a brush pen. This S stands for small. And you can get the same type of um, weight for the refillable pens as well or you can buy them in sets like this they might be a bit more economical if you buy them in sets like this but some of the pens you might not use them as much I mean personally for me I prefer to use 0 0.3, 0 0.5 and 0.8 so the smaller line weights I'm not going to use them as much but the brush pens um, they can be quite useful some of these pens are a bit worn out so today I'll be able to show you some of the new pens how they look like when they are new how the lines look like and also how the lines how the tip behaves when they are worn out these are felt tip pens so they do get worn out through usage depending on the frequency of you using them and also on the type of paper. Personally for me, I like to use this type of pens on smooth paper than on fine grain paper or even watercolor paper. Uh, I do use it on watercolor paper, but I use it on hot press watercolor paper. So this is how the tip looks like. When the tip is new, you get to see that it's round, but as it gets worn out, it starts to flatten out, for example here. This pen at the top here is a bit worn out so the tip is a bit flattened out. Let me show you another pen that is also a bit worn out. This is also a bit worn out. So the difference between a round tip, this tip here and this tip here, which is really worn out is that with the round tip you can draw from more angles. But with this tip here, which is really worn out, you can only draw when the pen is vertical. Later on, I'll show that to you. At the bottom is the small 0 0.03 tip. It can be a bit fragile, so you have to be very careful when using it. Let me show you the brush pens. Let me show you the small brush pen. This is the small brush pen. And this is the same small brush pen, but worn out. And this is the medium brush pen. So these are actually sponge tip brush pens. They are a bit stiff. Here in Singapore, the price of the refillable Copic Multiliner SP costs three times that of the disposable pen. So it doesn't make any economic sense to buy the refillable version. Now the replaceable ink cartridge, you can pull it out easily. Just pull it out from the back. This ink cartridge costs about the same price as the disposable. Again, if I were to spend that amount of money, I'd rather get a new pen like this rather than just get the ink cartridge. Because with the SP, as I've mentioned earlier, the tip, it gets worn out. So this tip is replaceable. You can pull it out as well. Let me try to use my fingernail to pull it out and see if I can do that. So you can pull it out like this. This is also replaceable. And this costs money to replace as well. So again, if I have to buy the cartridge and the replaceable tip, I might as well get a new pen 
for a cheaper price I've checked online to see um, to compare the prices and it seems that there are some places where the it makes sense to buy the refillable version because the refillable version in the long run it's actually cheaper compared to the disposable but here in Singapore um, it's just better to get the disposable one because in the long run this is much cheaper so it depends on where you buy the pens from also you have to take into account the shipping cost now I'm going to show you the different line weights the pens are capable of and also the line quality I will talk about the performance, the ink flow and later on show you some examples so I'm just going to pick a pen randomly from this bunch here and talk about each pen some are new, some are worn, some are thick and some are thin so this is a 0 0.8 this is a relatively new pen I'm drawing on smooth cartridge paper and the ink flow is actually quite good so this is a very solid 0 0.8 pen notice how I'm actually drawing now with the pen tilted because this is a relatively new pen uh, it allows me to draw from different angles now I'm going to switch over to another pen randomly this is a 0 0.5 and this is a relatively new pen as well so the line weight is going to be a bit thinner the nice thing about using different line weights is it can make your drawing a bit more interesting the lines appear to have very sharp edges on this paper which is very nice this is also a 0 0.5 this is the SP version and this is my old pen so this has a very worn out tip let's see how it does uh, I'm not sure if you can see here but no lines are coming out when I'm drawing when I'm using this pen at an angle because the tip has already um, is worn out so I have to use the pen vertically in order to get the ink out and this is quite inconvenient because I don't like to draw with the pen vertically like using it as a Chinese brush so this is what happens when the tip gets worn out and you have to spend extra money to buy a new tip this brush pen is quite convenient the ink that is inside the multi liner they are pigmented so you can use uh, water based um, medium over the ink such as uh, watercolor of course you can use the Copic mount, uh, markers over the ink as well they work very well together the brush pen um, this is a bit worn out you can see some of the fiber coming out from the tip it's quite smooth on this paper I do not recommend using this sort of pen on rough paper because it's going to wear uh, down your tip and you can change actually quite a few pens if you use it on rough paper frequently and it's going to make you spend a lot more money so that's not something I would recommend so try to use this on smoother paper to save some money and this last pen here is a 0 0.3 ink flow for the pen is quite good and if you leave the tip on the paper for a long time it doesn't create a blot so let me try that again here let me try some cross hatching here with the 0 0.5 it works quite well for cross hatching another nice thing about the disposable pen is because they are cheap 
you can actually buy backups to put in your pencil case in case they run out of ink you can have another pen to use so that is really very convenient let me outline this letters with the thick pen to give it a different look so when you're using thick and thin lines you can get some nice um, variations going here is a portion of a sketch where the lines are drawn with technical pens i cannot actually remember whether or not i use the copic pen or some other brands but the effect is the same so when you're using on paper with texture the lines they are not as solid you get to see the rough edges like this and also the rough edges like this and it wears off the tip quite fast this is another sketch drawn with technical pens so because the ink is pigmented it's waterproof you can use watercolor over it i want to draw your attention to this area here this is cold pressed paper so it's quite smooth and on such paper the lines that you can get they are quite solid there is less tendency to see dry or rough edges with the pen lines if i remember correctly i used only one pen for this particular sketch and the tip was a bit worn out so when I used the pen vertically I was able to get the thick lines the solid lines like this and when I use the pen at an angle I get thin lines like this as if the pen is going to run out of ink so it really depends on your expectation of such technical pens if you prefer a pen that only produces uniform lines sometimes for felt tip pens they do get worn out so this is something that is not surprising and is expected the ink is rich dark black so if you want the extra punch the extra contrast i think um, copic multiliners the ink is really good we have come to the end of this review just a quick recap i prefer the disposable pens compared to the refillable version because here in singapore it's cheaper to get the disposable ones and also i feel that the tips on the disposable pens they last a bit longer for some reason and if you have any questions do feel free to post them in the comment section below i will also post a link to an article that my friend jerry has written he has compared like over 10 different types of technical pens so uh, you might want to see that article because it's quite informative and also do let me know in the comment section whether you or not you like to draw with technical pens like this thanks for watching see you in the next video and remember to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done so for more art product reviews sketching tips and tutorials bye